Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zedan, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Right there? There should be room for all here, man. That's okay. No, he is Whoa. capitalism. I mean, that. Is what we. All want this day and age. I'm not right? an expert or anything. That's okay. That's a little problem.
Thanks for responding so quickly. We never expected something like this. Not Denver. Imagine. Nobody wants to do that. You made it. Most impressive of them. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Hey, Trooper, sir, this is a restricted area. You're going to have to move away. Thank you. Okay. You have a good day, sir. Please go to the reception desk. Say what? No harm done here. That's nice, Jenny. Let me tell you a little story. Hello, soldier. According to the appointment schedule, Klaus Strandberg has booked a massage to relieve his back pains. No doubt all that time in prison has caused muscle stiffness. The masseur, who works at a local clinic, has apparently already checked into the building. It is not fair. It is. It is. You can't keep me in here under these circumstances. If I had known, well, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one supposed to be doing deep tissue massage. Nice in it. Someone's been hurt. It looks really bad. I'm going to see if I can help. This is messed up. I mean, really. Connie Engstrom, Monsieur.
here for an appointment with Klaus Strandberg. Oh, Mr. Engstrom. Please proceed to the massage room. It's upstairs on the right. I'll inform Mr. Strandberg. You wouldn't have any weapons on you, sir. No weapons allowed here, I'm afraid. I repeat, Klaus Strandberg. Please go to the massage room. Sorry, I have to search you, sir. Uh, sir, sorry, this, this is just going to take a second. Thanks, sir. You're clean. Shall we? Ah, oh, this muscle tension is killing me. Why don't you lie down, Mr. Strandberg? Oh, please. Call me Klaus. Hey, you shaved your head, Connie? Nice. Well done, 47. I will leave Strandberg in your capable hands. Oh, what is it now? Really? Ah, that's the ticket. I tell you, nothing makes you tense like thousands of people wanting to kill you. <laughs> Target down. Next up, Razor Zaydan. Common feet. What a world. Massage guy. Yeah, right, of course.
sorry. You need to leave. Please leave now. Holster that thing. So what did he do, the prisoner? Uh, never you mind. General Zayden said the man's a traitor, and that's all there is to it. Cold feet about the operation. He tried to rat us out. No derogatory terms for each other. We uh, we just refer to each other by our first names, Wanda, and we try to be as respectful as possible. Number four. Don't move! Yes. Is someone here? Still. Stand down. Target is in the vicinity. Look alive. Man, come in. Yeah, it's a goddamn massacre. Raquel. She'll kill him. She'll find out that he's been cheating on her and stab him in his sleep. And I'll be there watching. Front row seats. Yeah.
Please step back. Yeah, I know. Mop mood. He'll never believe I was a traitor. If he finds the tapes, he'll put two and two together. He'll avenge me. Take his time, too. Reza will pay for this. That is General Reza Zedek. Nice and easy, boys. Now let them come to us. Let's head back. Affirmative. Standing down. In the corridor. I have nothing here. Kick 
around for another round. Find us! Aiming for the head! Open fire! Target into the clear! Hit the alarm! Hit the alarm! Do we have a visual? I lost visual! I have to ask you to kindly exit the premises. You will not walk through here today. Thank you. The printing crew spreads fake propaganda in the name of Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African Liberation Movement. This encourages Moroccan citizens to rise up and take justice into their own hands, which of course is exactly what Zaydan is counting on. Very clever. Now, according to the printing schedule, the crew is out hanging posters, and they are likely to wear masks.
Command, thought I heard something. Checking it out. Over. Some kind of soldier? General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear they were close, so... What'd he do, poor bastard? The way I heard it, his brother was one of the policemen who got killed when the Mercs attacked Strandberg's prison transport this morning. So, he, uh... He got cold feet and tried to blow the lid on the whole operation. Uh, not... According to the soldiers, the condemned prisoner in the cell was a close friend of Zaydan. However, when his brother, a Marrakesh police officer, was killed during Strandberg's breakout, the prisoner decided to betray Zaydan and go public. Alas, he was caught before he could thwart the coup d'etat. What the hell are you doing up there, monkey boy? You're in. Good work, 47. What do you do? Now to locate General Zaydan. I was never even there. Well, you got there. Still on guard duty, huh? Yep. Hey, I never meant to break that. Yes. Hey, what are you I'm doing? Sorry, Someone in here right there. Hello? Hello? Sir, this is the second time I've told you to comply and come with me. My patience is running out, and when I feel impatient, I tend to shoot people, all right? So come on! Now you are going to follow me nice and easy. Stay calm and you'll be fine. Understood? Raquel, she'll kill him. She'll find out that he's been cheating on her. Yeah, he was asleep. Please, no! And I'll be there. I need to pick up now! What, Rose? You're in. Good work, 47. So what did he do? Now to locate General Zaydan. General Zaydan says the man's a traitor, and that's all he needs to do. Let's do 
<laughs> You're in. Good work, 47. So now to locate General Zaydan. Lousy rat. Uh, no, can't do it. After the waterfall. Commanding a firing squad is a pretty good one. What the hell was that? What's that? Go on. Get in my position. I'm not sure I've seen you before. Who are you? I give up. You're in. Good work, 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. That is General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit.
command area is clear. Please advise. Over. Okay, we need to man up! Carry on. Okay, what's her? Don't mind me. I salute you. I'm very sorry. Compromise, but I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. But except for your late predecessors. Cobb? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus, someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was that? Money. <laughs> the money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Take a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. <laughs> 